Okay, Gregory Cutie Cake's back here again, really quick. Zippo check! Oh yeah, I just refilled this, just made a video of that too. And it, Zippo check! It really lights like a damn! Lights like a damn! One more time, we're gonna save some time. We got something to talk about here today. Uh, we're gonna save some time for that today. Well, it lights right up. Okay, I'm really happy with how this Zippo is. Look at the flame on that too. Look at that! Do you get a flame like this with your other lighters? No, I do not think so. Okay, and speaking of things that you don't get, um, you don't really get... Now, we're going to go into why, why the uh, dive watches, particularly those made by Rolex Company, why are they so desired and so popular? Um, we're going to dive into that. It's kind of like, um, it's a little bit, it's not a good comparison. It's a little bit like your, your Zippo. Okay. You might spend in Japan here for a regular lighter. You might spend, oh, maybe a dollar. You might spend a dollar US. This on the other hand, you might spend $25. You might spend $30 on a Zippo. And you got fuel and everything, but you're getting a lighter that you're getting a lighter that will stand the test of time, lifetime warranty, lights right up. You don't get a flame like this with your other like look at the flame on that. My god. You don't get a flame like this with your with your other lighters, do you, for a dollar? But you gotta spend thirty times as much. Plus get your fuel, so maybe close to thirty, forty times as much. And you get this, you get you get a torch as a lighter, and it's just a very mechanical lighter. And you get this torch, and then you can refill, refuel it, and get flints. So you're you're it's about forty times as much. But look at what you get, boy! That flame is good. I'll close that up, boy. Boy, oh boy. Well, let's see here. I've got let's do wrist check. Uh, watch check nothing on my wrist right now. Let's see here. It's down here. Yeah, we got the old Junker watch down here. There we go. This is my Hamilton Khaki. Hamilton Khaki uh, Quartz Day Date. It's Tuesday, May 26th. This is not a bad Junker watch, but look at, this is the second strap, the second bracelet. It's going again. It's been a good bracelet, but it's going again. That's about a year. Uh, this is starting to break here too. Now, um, I had the seals go on this watch already. We had that replaced. Swiss made. I had the seals go, it leaked water, damaged the movement. They had to repair the movement, add a new battery, repair the movement, I don't know how they did that. They had to put new seals in so it would be waterproof again. It's supposed to be waterproof to 50 meters. I really like the crystal on it. It seems to have a good crystal. But I mean like this watch has failed me. Okay, now, why? is the are the rolex dive watches so popular okay well there's there's of course the whole james bond thing but ignoring that that's a factor for sure but more foundationally why would those get picked up well yeah there is the james bond thing but they made some choices when they made those movies and they decided to go with the with the submariner and uh, what are really popular, the Submariner and the Submariner date. Okay, first of all, what I've mentioned before is that you're getting a, you're getting a, wow, that's really cracking. You're getting a really, really good bracelet, which can be adjusted, okay, with your Submariners. So you're going to get a diver's bracelet that can uh, fit over a, a scuba diving suit if you need it to 
or it can just be adjusted for um for depending on the humidity and the temperature and your your uh the swelling of your wrist it can be adjusted for that easily so you're getting a a bracelet that's really with their oyster bracelet you're getting a bracelet that's really above and beyond most other standard Rolex bracelets and you only find that really in in the dive series now what else are you getting with your with your uh, unlike this watch what else are you getting with your submariner well from what i understand gregory cutie cakes here from what i from what i gather is that the cases, because they are dive watches, because they're professional dive watches, and they're they're engineered and designed to be dive watches, professional dive watches. You're getting a case that, and as well as a case with the crown and with the 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 waterproofness of the seals. You're getting a complete case package that has been pressure tested pressure tested for pressure air pressure water pressure okay it's been pressure tested where this screws on on your rolex the case back how it fits on it's so tight with the rivets and how this your crown goes in all of this where there's seals and that's triple there's there's a triple seal here. That's been, the watch has been pressure tested. The Rolex Submariners and Submariner dates are pressure tested. And they test them after pressure testing, after pressure testing them, they put uh, a bit of, uh, of dry ice on here, on the crystal. And they can see, easily see and test if there's any condensation appears on the inside of the crystal. They will know that it did leak. And of course, they will only pass the watches which have been pressure tested and which did not show any signs of interior condensation on the interior of the watch and the dial and the movement um now that said there there might be some condensation on the other side by the movement but if there was it would probably be on both sides so it's probably a pretty good test um of course they're going to test the time functioning of it to see if if it affects the time. And I believe the Rolex now is plus or minus two seconds. So it's it's kind of unbelievably accurate for a mechanical watch. What else are you getting with this watch? Uh, you are getting you are getting uh, crown guards. Okay, you are getting a diver's bracelet your diver's basil where you can measure the increments of time that have elapsed very easily good for making an omelet or an egg too it's good for all sorts of things um but it's it's specifically designed for when you go under the water you can track how long you've been under the water for and it's a it's a one way it only moves one way and uh you so that you cannot uh, accidentally um, lose track of time and be be under the water for longer than you thought. Uh, one last thing I'd like to mention that you're getting with those watches is that you well you're you're first of all you're getting a pretty tough watch and uh, you can actually open up your crown and you can go under the water. Okay, you open up your crown and you can go, you can put the watch underwater and it'll still be, it will still retain some waterproofness. Not to 1,000 um, feet or 300 meters, but it can get wet. You could probably put it under for five seconds and bring it out. 
and dry it out and it will not affect the watch. So you've got added water resistance when the crown is open. Okay, that's all for today. Goodbye from Gregory Cuticake, signing off.